going to be able to make much progress uh, there. Flash going for one of the island expansions, looks like. Actually, he's only unloaded four marines there, maybe just to preempt any sort of attempts to expand to the island there. Flash also, he's only got... 1-1 one, one upgrades. Okay, now he's got 2-2 two, two upgrades on his Mega Marines. So, so he's going to be fine in the upgrade department. Um, Flash not being able to make any sort of headway against Hydra. Hydra in good position economically and militarily, I feel, at this point. So Hydra not doing too shabby against the, uh, the ultimate weapon here. However, the game is far from decided, even though I would say Hydra has an uh, advantage. Let's see whether he can translate that into a win. Uh, Flash is notorious for being near unkillable on defense when he wants to be. Uh, and he can hold out almost forever, it seems. Uh, it, he might transition to a sort of a mech army with tanks and vultures, mines everywhere, tanks that are two screens deep with siege lines. Looks like Scourge here, they're catching the dropship, killing it. Flash losing another dropship. He doesn't seem too bothered by it. Uh, his face, rather, um, looks like there are some lurkers here trying to pick away at the 8 o'clock base, but they get cleaned up by Flash's forces. So Flash not being effective with his attacks at all. Hydra not really even bothering to attack. Um, uh, he's just waiting for Ultra Ling, of course, to morph a whole bunch of Ultralists before his attack. That's reasonable uh, for the Zerg to do. Flash going to pick off one of Hydra's new bases, it looks like, at the at the uh, 2 o'clock position and those links finally have adrenaline upgrade he's gonna pick that base off with no problem these links coming not really doing too much against medic marines I'm not sure what the upgrades on the Hydro's forces are but they don't seem too good they're getting picked off with alarming speed there Hydro with clutch defenses uh, with his scourge this game though, I have to admit I mean those drops would have killed most lesser zerg players by now the constant uh, drops uh, as in uh, Flash versus that new Zerg. Zerg Cal, Flash has absolutely destroyed him with drops. Hydra not falling victim to that. Although losing a defiler out in the open to two me uh, Marines, not the best play there for Hydra. Needs to be a bit more careful with his tech units like that. Um, Hydra massing a good number of links. He might be preparing to more some Ultralis and then go on the offensive finally. Flash does Okay, he is transitioned to sort of a, a combination uh, of bio meadow build, bionic build, I guess this is what it's called. I might be wrong about that, but the point is he's got three factories with machine shops, so he's going to be able to afford quite a few siege tanks. In fact, he has a good number of siege tanks at the front here. And siege tanks, fire bats, science vessels, and vulture mines are the only Terran units that can hurt things under swarm. Tanks of course with only splash damage. I think Vulture Mines only splash damage too, but Radiate and Fire Bats do full damage, of course. It's just that Fire Bats are really, really bad against Ultralists. I think they do like 4 damage per hit against Ultralists, so, so they're pretty much worthless. Uh, they are good against Lings, of course, so it's certainly worth getting the Fire Bats. Flash with the four Marines still at 12 o'clock base. Ooh, Flash with a nice little eraser here. Hydra seemed to be completely caught off guard. I was caught off guard too. Flash, those times best of four kills on one, and look, it was seven kills on the other one. It's probably up a few now, so he's just killed all the drones at the at the seven o'clock base. And Flash is one of the best players with eraser tricks. If you're one of the best Terrans at it. Um, so that was a clutch eraser there. That's going to set Hydra back a bit in his economy. Hydra needs to start working on these science vessels here. Flash has amassed a dangerous cloud at this point. Seven or eight, it looks like. With the science vessels and these tanks, Flash could probably hold out uh, and beat most Zerg forces. He needs to get a massive plague on those science vessels. Uh, Pair of Scourge coming in, not even hitting the same science vessel. Flash is not going to be bothered by this. He's going to be able to radiate at will here. And it doesn't look like Hydra has anything in preparation for defense. Hydra going for massive Doom Drop on Flash's main, but Flash has so many turrets in position. Uh, the Doom Drop is still going to be able to get through. He's still going to be able to drop a good number of forces, uh, but he's going to lose, I think, more than he wants to. S oh, so many of the Overlords going down. Looks like there are some Ultras that managed to get dropped in Defiler and a bunch of Lings. Uh, Hydra needs to do as much damage as possible in Flash's main right now. 
Uh, Flash bringing back some of his science vessels to deal with this. Uh, the Lings are running rampant all over Flash's main and natural expansion, killing buildings at will. The Lings tearing through everything. This is exactly the move that Hydra needed to come back in this game. Flash has abandoned his attempts to attack the 7 o'clock base, it looks like, and moved everything back to deal with this drop. He's going to be able to clean it up, but not without significant losses. Actually, Flash has kept a good number of tanks in position. If only Hydra had like 20 Lings, he could wipe out all those tanks. That would deal Flash a massive Blow. Flash taking out the hatchery critically. Um, he still doesn't want to lose all those tanks. That's a lot of tanks. Hydra still with Lings running rampant in Flash's main, uh, doing causing all sorts of havoc. And Flash is forced to lift from the seven o'clock base. Hydra in a good position now, excellent position. But the only thing is, Flash has so many science vessels. Um, I mean, F Flash looks like he's in serious trouble. But but he Hydra needs to finish off the science vessels. If he can kill the science vessels, I think it would be GG to Flash. And Hydra has proved to me that he can play late game Zerg uh, mostly. As you're putting down a new fourth base there at the two o'clock position, I think Flash is finally going to be able to reestablish mining at his uh, third base. And Hydra, why is he building like a single pair of scourge? Okay, finally, good number of scourge coming out for Hydra. Going to pick off two science vessels. He still needs more. Um, I feel like. Okay, now he's brought in even more scourge. Flash is down to four science vessels. This is what he needed to. do. A bit earlier, in fact, I feel Flash is going to irradiate these overlords. Uh, Hydra is going to be forced to drop them, uh, drop whatever's in the overlords. Looks like and Flash sort of going crazy with the irradiates here. Um, he's still got, so Flash has lost good numbers, signs vessels. I guess he felt like he had no choice but to send them out. Ooh, Flash with a racer countering it. And Hydra doesn't seem to be paying attention to his drones at all. Uh, the racer, 15 kills on that signs vessel. That's a ridiculous amount of kills. And, and you know, this eraser is not used to humiliate his opponents. These erasers are what's keeping Flash in the game. That is what's so incredible about it. Although I think what's even more incredible is Hydra's remarkable lack of focus here. You know, you don't get all your drones irradiated and killed at one of your bases. I mean, he was so close to victory there. If he did make these silly little mistakes, if he was more conscientious about killing off the vessels, I feel he would have won. Flash also has these tanks. That's his other... Uh, the only card really he has left to play at this point. It looks like uh, close to a dozen tanks here. These tanks are going to be able to kill uh, uh, you know, any sort of a small attempts to attack them. A few Ultras, he, uh, Flash is not going to care about that at all. And Hydra once again forcing a lift at Flash's 2 o'clock base. Good job uh, for that. Flash looks like he's going to be able to wipe out Hydra's base at the 11 o'clock position. Flash trying to finish that bunker desperately, but he doesn't seem to have any units putting it. Actually, that was the uh, the uh, two o'clock base there for Hydra that Flash just took out. Hydra with clever little counterattacks like this, which is exactly what he needs to do. Flash has got to be seriously low on minerals at this point. He's not been able to mine everything for a while. Um, most Terrans probably would have GG at this point. Uh, Hydra still got. Well, his natural surely is low, but I would imagine his third base. Might still have some minerals left. Actually, not really either. Hydra being seriously low on minerals here, too. Um, well, no, he has a good number of minerals at his natural. He'll be fine for a few more minutes. He does need to get himself a fourth base, I feel, again, and hold that base. If he can do that, he'll be fine. Flash with a command center flame about in the middle there. I don't think Flash is really mining very much at all. He's finally reestablished mining at the 8 o'clock base, it looks like, yet again. Hydra coming in for a bit of a drop here at the main with two overlords this time, probably just got lings. Uh, those lings would be able to rip into the supply depots and barracks and whatnot. A good choice there from Hydra. These little constant attacks and drops are exactly what he needs to do. Flash's army is coming back to deal with this, it looks like. So Hydra's certainly bought himself a lot of times with these a lot of time with these constant little attacks and cause quite a bit of damage uh, you know picking off a good number of supply depots and turrets here he does need to reestablish his fourth base um, because he's going to be a bit out of minerals soon if he can't do that Hydra thus far proving that he has what it takes to, to go toe to toe with Flash in the late game here. Hydra looks like he does not have much gas at all. He's got a good amount of minerals in this first person view. He sees that Flash is remining. He might be trying to drop a lurker there, it looks like. Um, alternatively, Hydra could make sure that Flash can't reestablish this new base down there. 
And Flash has a second command center that he is landing. It looks like uh, in the, that was the first person view of Flash there. And finally, most of Flash's science vessels have been taken out. Looks like some of those were plagued. Um, uh, Flash needs to be careful with his science vessels now. I understood why he sent out most of them earlier. He needed to do something with them. And he did do something critical. He erasered all the drones at the... Um, at the 1 o'clock base, so that was critical. This lurker coming in here, but not going to bother Flash too much. Looks like Hydra's massed up another Ultra Link Force. He's going to come in for an attack. Uh, I'm not sure whether that's advisable. He doesn't really have quite enough, I feel, to deal with Flash's tanks. All the Lings are dead now. The Ultra List uh, is almost dead too, so not the most effective attack there coming in from Hydra. Uh, I think he was hoping to accomplish more with that. Flash has landed command center at the 7 o'clock base. He needs to be able to mine from there, though. It doesn't look like he's starting to mine from there just yet. Uh, Hydra not with too many units out on the field, it looks like. Flash is pushing out yet again. He's going to try to stop Hydra from putting up this new base. And I don't think Hydra has anything here to, to deal with it. Hydra's second, 2 o'clock base is going to get taken down yet again. And uh, he's going to lose this base. And Hydra... I'm not sure how many minerals he has left at this point. Uh, f some more Scourge coming in, picking off two more Science Vessels. Flash is down to two. That's good, but, but Hydra needs to get some mining established soon because if Flash can start mining at his new uh, 7 o'clock base, Hydra is going to be pretty screwed economically because he's not going to have any sort of income. Flash not bothering to attack any of Hydra's uh, natural or his 1 o'clock base. He's just sniping this hatchery and then retreating. Hydra coming in with lings, but I'm not sure these lings will be able to accomplish too much. There are a lot of tanks for Flash there and some magma marines to absorb fire. If this is all Hydra has left, uh, he is in a bit of a... Tr I mean, that's not good at all. Hydra with another little drop here in Flash's main, um, causing a bit more havoc. But it's not going to bother Flash too much. Um, I'm not sure how many forces Hydra actually has left. If he cannot mass up a reasonable number of Ultra Lings, he'll build like five or six more Ultras. That's what he needs to do any sort of effectual attack at this point. Defiler or two for Swarm. I'm not sure what he can do. He's loaded up all his units for yet another drop um, in the main. I don't think Flash is going to mind this too much. He's going to spot it with an engineering bay because this is like all of what Hydra has left. He's, even if he takes out everything the main, Flash has two mining bases. He can rebuild if he has to. And Flash, it looks like, is lifting all his uh, protection buildings there. That's the thing about Terran, you know, all the protection buildings can be lifted. Hydra flying overlords into turrets needlessly. Um, kind of silly there. Looks like we have uh, Flash's army coming back here to deal with these Ultralings. And Flash with a clutch defense matrix on the uh, uh, unit that the Ultralist was attacking. Nice play coming in for Hydra in the middle. Flash is going to be forced to retreat those units. Uh, nice defense matrix Firebat. Ooh, the Firebat dies. Uh, Hydra not even really doing quite enough damage, I feel, with that drop. He wiped out all the supply depots. But Flash is going to be able to remine and rebuild. And Flash also with a lot of fire bats uh, now. These lings are not going to be able to do much against all these fire bats. Oh wait, no, those are plague marines. Never mind. Those lings would do great against the plague marines. And GG coming for Hydra. He must have been mined out. And Hydra playing a good late game here. Flash looking exceedingly pleased with himself. That's the thing. Fighting against Flash. You know, it seems like sometimes he is unkillable. Despite the fact that most Terrans surely would have GG'd uh, in that game earlier. Anyway, going on to set three.